What's up, everyone, and welcome to Broadway.com headquarters. It is Tuesday, April 16th. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. And we're joined by Caitlin Moynihan, Hello. giving jazz hands, as always. <laughs> you know Speaking so well. of jazz hands. Yes. Who's here today, Beth? Michaela Diamond yes. from The Cher Woo! Show. Wasn't Baby she just on TV? She, she was. was. Didn't I just watch her on The Tonight Show? You did. She's so fantastic. Yes. We love her. We're going to be happy to talk to her. But first, today's top five. We are starting off today on a little bit of a sad note. It's not a little bit of a sad it's note. A it's a sad, sad, sad story, and it's a bad news story. Here we go. Georgia Engel, who mm. you guys know from Mary Tyler Moore Show and from The Drowsy Chaperone yes. on Broadway, has passed away at the age of 70. I'm mm. very sad about this. Um, I'm just going to read this so I don't get emotional. She mm. made her Broadway debut replacing as Minnie Faye in the original production of Hello, Dolly! And appeared alongside both Phyllis Stiller and Ethel Merman in the title role. Come Phyllis on. Phyllis Diller as Dolly is so crazy to imagine. but It is. Um, she earned a pair of Emmy nominations for playing Georgette on the Mary Tyler Moore show, which ran for a long time. And also additional Emmy nominations for her performances, Pat on Everybody Loves Raymond. P uh, depending on how old you are, you're going to have different jump offs for Georgia <laughs> She's Angle. very famous for her voice. Her voice and sort of her style. She's kind of otherworldly, yeah. there but not there. Yeah. Very sweet, very delicate. And she played Mrs. Tottendale in The Drowsy Chaperone and uh, in Los Angeles and on Broadway. And she was most recently seen in Halftime at Paper Mill Playhouse yeah. uh, just last year. So sad story to start off with. Mm -hmm. And even more names are heading uptown to the heights. No me diga. <laughs> yeah, we're Literally <laughs> losing my mind <laughs> that Daphne Rubin Vega, who I have loved for 23 we years, know, we know. will be in the film of In the Heights. This is amazing. In a great role. So good. She's playing Daniela, the hairdresser. She has this, uh, yeah, she, she, no me diga. The, no I me mean, diga. She's, she's in like the salon. gossip, mm -hmm. and it's a really fun role. <laughs> she, Daphne is so good on film. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. She's so good on film. When she was in that movie, uh, Flawless, I know, I know what you're talking with about. Robert yeah. De Niro mm -hmm. and Philip Seymour Hoffman, she was so... Anyway, she's, she's really good, so I'm really excited that she's joining this cast. And this movie, by the way, we talk about it every day because the, the Olga Marides is they're, in it. Will they're be rolling in it. out Lynn the casting. Been, Lynn manuel Miranda, you may know him. He's been <laughs> rolling out the casting on social media. And today, the big news for me was Daphne Mavega. Of course, she got a Tony nomination for playing Mimi in Rent. Really? And the second Tony nomination for Anna in the Tropics. Um, I also loved her in that. Um, oh, and Jimmy Smith was in that, who has also joined the cast. Yeah. And I also loved her in that. What was that? Streetcar Named Desire. Remember that? So good. That that production didn't get enough respect. I'm, I'm still bitter about she that. She was stellar. Also new to the cast, uh, Dasha Polanco, who is fantastic in uh, Orange Is the New Black, mm -hmm. will play a new role called Kuka. I'm into <laughs> you it. You have to say it that way. And Stephanie Beatriz will play Carla. Yeah. This is just going to be my favorite movie that has not been filmed yet. <laughs> But they're going to film it soon. And um, I'm putting a lot of faith in John M. Chu, who is directing it. Do, do us proud. And of course, Lynn and uh, Chiara Alegra Hudes. Did I say it right? Sure you did, yeah. Uh, th they're Trust. working on it again. And there's, I'm sure there's going to be a new song. And there's sure going to be an Oscar nomination. Anyway, it's a lot for It's me. already has Oscar nominations. Has there's already an Oscar yet. nomination <laughs> for 2021. But you're not wrong. For best new song. Wrong. Love it. Hopefully Daphne will sing it. Anyway, <laughs> the movie is coming out June 26, 2020. Get into it. Congrats, Daphne. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful morning for this news. You know what? I didn't see this coming. Nope. Oklahoma. This, this, this is this real? Go ahead. <laughs> this feels like we might be... Just, re just Maybe it. we're being punked. I don't know. Apparently, Oklahoma will serve as the basis for a new TV series. Okay. 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 Um, let me tell you Which about it. Which is what? Exactly. What is Oklahoma? What's, yeah, what's the show? I don't get it. You don't know what Oklahoma is? Or you I know what Oklahoma is. Okay, let me tell you about the TV series. This is produced by Skydance Television, okay. written by John Lee Hancock, who did The Blind Side, and Becca Brunstetter, who was just off Broadway with The Cake. Yeah, but she is also a writer. This is this Us is, is us, the important right. part of that. Uh, the present day series. Right. Will be set Oklahoma is all about the territory becoming a state in whatever year that was. But go ahead, the present day series. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, will be set in America's Heartland. Sure. Okay, that makes sense. I, I assume they mean in. America's Heartland in Oklahoma can't just be okay. anywhere. Well, yeah, um, and include okay. music by the legendary team of Rodgers and Hammerstein. Okay. It will be reimagined for a contemporary audience, much like the revival, in addition to having new music to support the story, obviously not by Rodgers and Hammerstein, if it's new music. I just don't know why it's Oklahoma. I, I mean, like, Oklahoma know. has a very specific plot. 
Tell there's me the, the plot. Creepy about guy in the barn. There's a picnic. In his quite lonely room. That's Judd. I hope they're quoting us and on the, the <laughs> Roger and Hammerstein organization <laughs> site. And then there's two romantic couples, the serious romantic ones, and then the funny ones. Right. So it's like classic, Dallas. Classic. Classic. Like Dallas, but Oklahoma. Structure. It's I don't know, but I'm. Really I, look, curious. And there's a dream ballet also. Will there be a dream ballet on this book? Every single episode will have a dream ballet, Paul. Look, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm going to watch it. Of course you are. Yeah. But I'm very curious. And there you go. And we found out some Broadway names are going to be heading to the Sharks, Sharks and the Jets. Specifically, Mike Feist. Tony nominee. Tony nominee for Darren Hansen is going to play Riff in West Side Story. This is this super is exciting. News. This is not the Broadway West Side Story, which is coming, but this is the Tony Kushner, Steven Spielberg big screen movie. Um, what else? What else do we need to know? Oh, also joining the cast, Ana Isabel. I'm doing a lot of uh, my um, Spanish lessons today. <laughs> Ana Isabel is Rosalia and Maddie Ziegler, who apparently is on Dance Moms, according dance to Kate. Dance Mom, she's she is dancing. Okay, Come well on. she's there. She's Great gonna dancer. be wait, but she's cast as part of the Jets. Yeah, she's probably just gonna be the. <laughs> okay. She's gonna dance. She's having the Jets. Anyway, <laughs> this is very exciting. Uh, Rita Moreno is also playing Valentina, who is <laughs> it's a reconstruction. <laughs> version of Doc. Anyway, it's filming this summer on the streets of New York. I want a, like a dance in the off. Heights, the In the Heights West cast and the West Side Story cast mm-hmm. like uh, mm-hmm. going at it. They can the rumble. Streets. Maybe they'll anyway, rumble. A rumble. That's what we want. No blood. But anyway, it's exciting. Congrats, Mike Feist. And some big names are doing this industry reading this week. Remember Reefer Madness? I do. I really liked it. We loved Reefer Madness. Reefer Madness. Reefer Madness. It was off-Broadway. It was in L.A. It was was off-Broadway in 2001. Yep. It starred Kristen Campbell and uh, Kristen Bell, Michelle Paul. Yes. Pong. Remember Kristen Bell? What happened to her? Yeah, what happened to her? <laughs> Robert Torty. <laughs> she, remember she was in like Tom Sawyer? She was. She now was, she's famous. Now she's famous. Um... There's going to be an industry-only reading. Do we qualify? I don't know. <laughs> it will take place on Thursday, April 18th. I'm going to see if Michaela Diamond can get us in. The reading will star Tony Award nominee Ethan Slater as Jimmy. That's cool. Yeah. That's good casting. I want you to do all of your, your Spanish lessons. Javier <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Munoz is playing Jack, Jack and Jesus. Mm-hmm. Giselle Jimenez, Jimenez is yeah. playing Mary. Mary. That's what and Bell Lena played. Hall, a.k.a. Selena Carvajal is playing May. Right. And May's a great role. Yes, Michelle Wait. Hawk. Ah, yes, that's a funny role. <laughs> I'm that's here for you. And Amy Spanger in the movie? Was Amy it, was Spanger. That, was not that, that, that's her role? Anyway, I don't know. No, it was Anna Gasteyer in the movie. Ah, oh, I'm here okay. for you. Well, she was an Directed by Stephen Brackett. It's inspired by the original 1936 film of the same name, but it's nothing like that film, no. so don't worry about no. it. Uh, features a book by Kevin Murphy and Dan Stanley. They want to bring it back to. They want to bring it to Broadway. Look, it's so fun. That's the dream. It's so the fun. It's They're doing a reading. We're not invited. We're just we're letting you know. In. We're getting him. Okay. <laughs> Ethan Slater. Edison. Yeah. Also on the site, uh, we, we started our Citizens of Mockingbird series yes. with a, a great video about Celia Keaton Bolger, who plays, of course plays Scout, uh, New Gotta Dance, Peter Cherson, who's in the ensemble of King Kong, some great photographs by Matthew Murphy. What else, Beth? Well, Burn This opens tonight, we but both, they had their... Oh, yeah, they had their opening last. We both their, loved it. That's, I was just saying, we liked it. This. We're from the 80s. We love... We're from the 80s. <laughs> we we okay. love Burn This. We love Burn This. Uh, it happy opening to burn this but yes. they had their press opening last night yeah, they didn't so we have, have our the red party carpet the same night challenge. As the reviews. oh the red carpet challenge is very funny it's all about 80s fashion we're from the 80s we won't yeah. show you pictures <laughs> also are on the scene and photos and uh christy brinkley is coming back to chicago we've got a picture of her looking fab as usual of course i'm gonna get she out of here age. babe is here oh, yeah, yeah yeah okay thank you beth thank you and i'm gonna tell you guys all about Michaela Diamond, who is here in the studio with us right now, because yes, she is currently in her Broadway debut, playing a third of Cher. Who? How? Not many people can say that. She's the only one, really, actually. Um, she was also seen in Jesus Christ Superstar Live, and during her fresh face, she told me that she got to kiss John Legend's ear during rehearsal. So she's got a lot of important things to tell us. <laughs> Make sure you follow her on Twitter at Michaela Diamond underscore, and on Instagram at Michaela underscore Diamond. A lot of underscores. Follow them both. Leave all of your questions in the comments below, and please welcome Michaela and Paul. Thank you, Caitlin. What an intro. <laughs> what an intro. Personalized intro. I can't intro. believe I'm looking at you right now. What? Why? <laughs> because like a year and a half ago, I was like stalking all of your videos Let's on YouTube. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Instead of doing homework. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, I first met you at the opening night of the Share Show in Chicago. Vividly remember. And you were, and I was like, who is this girl? And I was like, 
Pop. And you, yeah, you knew who I was. Yeah, duh. So you were, you were stalking me. You were like watching interviews, and yeah, I would, like, like you would have not, watched this maybe. Yeah, on I would YouTube like not or? do homework and and spend hours watching show <laughs> show people. Well, I am now a big fan of yours. Thanks. You are now, a, and and Caitlin interviewed you. What when you were first start you for the Fresh yeah. Face or a Fresh Face feature? Long ago. Good um, that, that felt that feels like a long time ago now. It does, does it does to me or does it not to you? I mean, no, it totally does to me. It's been a long year so in, it, in the best so way. You've but... actually been on Broadway what like five or six months? Yeah. Oh my god. Five or six months. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Can we curse on here? Sorry. You're a Broadway vet. <laughs> <laughs> you are though. I mean, what? So what far from it. You are. I mean, I have swollen ankles and bad back. Do you? So I feel like a Broadway vet. How, how's it going? How, how are you holding? You are in the Cher show, by the way. Anyone who went to the Tonight Show last night, uh, you were on the Tonight Show I was. with your that co-star Sunny J. Black and Teal Wicks and uh, somebody named Cher. Yeah. Who, who is? Uh, Some people know her. Somebody you play in this musical. Yeah. Uh, telling her her life story, of course. And uh, so, how are you holding up? I'm good. I'm uh, busy. Yeah. Busy. Yeah, but it's love. I mean, I'm so glad that I have Teal and Stephanie because uh-huh. they kind of like have taken me under their wing and been like, it's going to be a crazy few months heading into Tony season. And yes. they've kind of already been through this. So right. I'm able to kind of just like go along and see everything with the first eyes. And it's mm-hmm. fun. And I kind of have this like naivety that they're latching onto too, I think. So right. it's great. We give, we're a good balance with each other. But isn't it crazy you were on The Tonight Show last night? Yeah, it's I mean, wild. on the couch, not I just like out singing. Like yeah, you guys we got sat a curtain. On the like couch. we got, like they introduced <laughs> us the and then we like came entrance out. And the, yeah, he knew your name. Yeah, he I mean, really yeah, did. like it wasn't just like the we, cast like, of the share show. No, it was really fantastic. <laughs> Said it, it right. So I mean, everything. Yeah. I know he really <laughs> pronounced my name and everything. It was lovely. I couldn't have had a better time. And so before, let's go back a little bit. Okay. So before the share show, you yeah. were you were like in high school. Correct. <laughs> did, yeah, that, that, yeah, I that's did. Who Correct. You are. I went to LaGuardia in the city. You went to LaGuardia, mm-hmm. and did you finish LaGuardia? I did. You did, yes. but you were already in the share show when you finished. Is no, that right? so I what did. Uh, I was playing Louise and Gypsy at my high school, and some agents saw me. Wow. Started to freelance over the summer, but was already going to Carnegie Mellon for musical theater. Okay. And then, two days before I left, <laughs> I booked the share show and didn't go to college. And it was for the workshop. It right? was for the lab, yes. The lab. The Those, that was very the different. The yeah. <laughs> yes. The lab. The lab. Yes. And um, I didn't have a contract for um, Broadway. So it was a bit well, of a no, because you might have been terrible. Totally. I understood. <laughs> like this girl, I, don't I know. totally understood. So, <laughs> yeah, so I. It was a bit of a risk. It was like, I might do the lab and then nothing else for the rest of the year, and then I'll go back to school. Oh. Or um, things will happen. Right. And I think things happened a things bit. Happened. <laughs> things happened. <laughs> things happened. I'm still here. <laughs> Fantastic reviews. There's a cast album. There's a cast album that just came out. Yeah. Somebody at the gym came up to me yesterday and said, I'm listening to Beat Goes On right now in my ear to well, you. And I, just saw I, don't you, know. I just saw you on the street and I was listening to the Beat Goes On. And then I was talking on the street and some guy came up and was like, aren't you sure? Is that what he said? <laughs> he was very, yeah, very yeah, excited like, to take a picture. It was the best show I ever seen. And I said, yeah. that's... Sad, a little sad, but I'm glad it's you love the show. It's a really fun show. <laughs> it's such a fun show, but so, I mean, ragtime. But, di- <laughs> <laughs> but did he? Uh, di- do you get that a lot? Are you getting that on the street? The on the street thing. You are a very specific looking girl. You have a look. Well, I come out at the stage door, and no one recognizes me. Really? I have to come out with Jared, and he's like, "Babe," <laughs> <laughs> and then people are like, "Oh my god!" But like, if I want to dip fast, I'm like, "Peace!" Like my curls and right. my face do not look right. the same in the show. Um, pros and cons to both, but yeah. I don't get recognized okay. that much. So I just why. happened to witness one of those amazing moments. Correct. Well, you were on the Tonight Show of last Paul, night. You guys. This is so wait. Much. So when you were Louise and Gypsy. That's a good role. Love. That'd be like a role you'd like to do on Broadway, probably. Please. Sure, why not? Stephanie. Um, were you <laughs> good with duo. Stephanie with Stephanie as Mama Rose? Mm-hmm. You're casting a Gypsy revival. <laughs> I'm into it. No, I'm, I'm I'm figuring it out, but I'm into it. Okay. Okay. Subtly. No, that's good. I'm just slipping it. And she has a has she kind of has a mother vibe with you too, doesn't she? She does. Yeah. Yeah. She's just, or naturally, that's what she yeah, is. Yeah, we'd rip each other apart in that last scene. Yeah. It'd be amazing. But yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm picturing all that. Do you whole see thing it? Now. Yeah. Um, but Bob the, Mackie can do the costume. So when you were Louise, <laughs> yes. and then and then Broadway people came. Just you said a casting uh, agent. Saw yeah. It. So were you and you did the whole strip thing. I did. So were you showing in at LaGuardia? Were you showing that you could wear share costumes? Like was it like what was it? <laughs> were um, you sort of auditioning on a, on a different level without knowing? Because you have very revealing. You have to be very comfortable. 
showing yeah, your you're, body. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Um, I guess in a way. Maybe. In a way. It wasn't like they picked me up and were like, go to this Cher audition. I had auditioned for many a thing. Oh, and then okay. Cher had come up in okay. the mix of those things. Um, you know, you should tell the story in the future like that Cher came to see it. <laughs> Like, I like, to you know, see me stories, get, and stories, and stories yeah, morph yeah, yeah. over time. Exaggerated, Years whatever. Now, just be like, and That's Cher what, well, randomly showed up. And I mean, you know, you do so many Cher's interviews. Cher's went to LaGuardia. Uh, we bonded over it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We talked on the phone for an hour the see? day after yeah, he came there's actually to LaGuardia. the show. So that story kind of makes, you should just say that. Yeah, I'm it just, does I'm make sense. I'm just rewriting your story. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah Paulson was in class with Chaz, and he was like, should we get lunch and discuss how we can make LaGuardia better? And I was like, mm, we got lunch with you and Sarah Paulson. Okay. <laughs> it was amazing. Wow. I was like, the best phone call. Okay, so how, how's Cher? I mean, we have to always talk about Cher. Cher. Whenever. I mean, because you actually know her now. She knows who you are. Yeah, she's a little... Like in rehearsal, we would always be like, she's such a planet because she has this gravitational pull. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. she's just this like orbit of a human. But yesterday, uh -huh. we're starting to get a little buddy buddy. I was oh, talking on the street. Mitzvah. I know. Okay. I got a little knock on my door yesterday, and they were like, um, Cher wants to see you in, in her dressing room. I was like, J just me? And they're like, yeah. This is what she does, though. She's yeah. Like, she she like summons. One. And yeah. so I huddled over to her little dressing room, which were fabulous at the Fallon show. Oh, really? Is it like, shout out. Like I don't know why I'm shouting. I think I'm not going to get anything free. <laughs> um, but, but I, yeah, it was like the big star dressing uh -huh. room. And um, she was like, could you help me <laughs> sing this one line? I'm not sure it's going to happen. And I was like, yeah, of course. It happened fine. She was right. beautiful. You were the backup plan. But I was the backup plan. <laughs> and I'm happy to be a backup plan for Cher. Not for anybody else, though. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a backup fan. Well, yeah, it's exciting to but be she's, linked with she's her. She's glorious. She had a fun time yesterday. She was like, after we finished our sound check for Turn Back Time, she was mm -hmm. like, I'm so happy to be in a in this girl group. Like, I want to, I wanted to sing with you guys, and I think she genuinely does. Like, when does she ever get a chance to sing with somebody? It's share. Wow. She's so singular that I think it was cool for her to sing in a group. Not all the pressure was on her. Well, I'm pretty sure if she started just doing that every night at the end of the share show, people, the producers would be fine with that. I think so too. <laughs> Come whenever you More want. More than share. fine. Here's forty four. <laughs> we raised forty four thousand dollars for BCFA. Uh, yeah. What was that like? Was like the audience must have gone crazy. Oh. She just came out during the during she the came out, Yeah, Jared was yeah. doing a little speech, and he uh -huh. was like, "Not one, not two, not three, but four. Sh oh, so charming. I'm in love with him. <laughs> um, it's funny. And uh, so he, and then she came out. She like parted the seas or whatever, and people went mad. I mean, everybody in like orchestra was just sobbing, like women sobbing. Wow. She was ten feet away from them, mm -hmm. and then like both two people were like going back and forth. Um, 20 grand, 21, 22. And then all of a sudden, we were like, if both of you pay 22 grand, we'll give you four tickets to MSG. And so they both paid, and we got $44,000. It was remarkable. Amazing. Yeah. Thank for you, such you, a good Cher. cause, too. Thank Thanks, you Cher. for what you do. Yeah. That's like so Lots cool. Lots of power. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> She's just standing there, Spanks leggings. So <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and the hair. I love the hair. The red bangs. I love the bangs. Oh, man. So uh, what else do you want to play on Broadway? Like, oh, my gosh. I mean, other than what Gypsy with SJB. Oh. I was, I was picturing like a, like a funny girl moment. I could do a funny girl yeah. moment. Yeah, is that a funny? Yeah. Do you want to do any of it now? No. <laughs> I, <laughs> no did I, mean. I did it for Broadway.com. In my like dream role things. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Right. I'd love to do a yeah. dot moment. For Broadway Box, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. Broadway Box. Yeah. I'd love to do a dot moment mm. one day. I know there was just a revival, dot. so I'll have to wait a little bit. But I need a little more time anyway for that. Uh-huh. I'm always like, give me like I need like three well, years you're for young. Funny I mean, you have a, a lot of things ahead of yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. I have lots of things. Yeah. But that's it's exciting. It's so cool. Yeah. Do There's also just people I want to work with. Uh huh. Which is, yeah. Who's what, been like the most exciting person you've met because of all this? Like, is there anyone? Hillary Clinton was really cool. I mean, that was recently, but that was really cool. That's pretty big, yeah. Yeah, and she was super, just everything you've wanted her to be, you know? Yeah. Um, is she a big Cher fan? Yeah. Who knows? Like, I, I mean, who know. is that? Who, who isn't? isn't? Like, who everyone isn't? knows her. Who isn't? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was cool. That yeah, was really cool. That's pretty exciting. Lynn was cool too. I know I'm such a geek. Manuel but Miranda? Yeah, like I sat front row for Hamilton the first month. I won the lottery, uh -huh. like sobbing. And then he like recognized me at the stage door. Like it was gross. And then he was like standing there being like, you're amazing. And I was like, you're all oh, so cool. <laughs> 
I love that you were so memorable. But like I was you were totally freaking out so hard cool. that he recognized you. That, oh yeah, totally. Like, there she is. I, yeah. It's no, like girl. I was three. It's oh, you were in the front row crying, right? I was like, oh god, mom, help. <laughs> <laughs> but like, really, it was it was a it. moment. Was I love a moment. that. Yeah. Hey, Caitlin. Yes. What are the people on my side? Oh, we got a lot Ooh, of questions. I'm sure. So Stephanie would like to know what has been Jay like, Block. <laughs> <laughs> Can't she just text you? <laughs> oh, I said that Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget and her name will pop up and it'll be like, can you get me some, you know, what turkey bacon? What does she ask for? What do you have to get her? Like, I don't even, like <laughs> turkey jerky all the time. Turkey jerky? Yeah, we love turkey jerky. Is that jerky. like the secret of playing share? <laughs> yeah, jerky. you have to have a bag of Who turkey knew? jerky. Turkey before. jerky. It's like a great little protein yeah, snack. Yeah, sure. You know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Stephanie. Finger. Stephanie, not <laughs> SJB. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she wants to know what has been the hardest or more difficult part about transitioning to Broadway right after high school. Um, the self care. Mm -hmm. I thought I was really good too. Like I, I, uh, I really know. I knew who I was in high school, so I was like always. Uh, I didn't get sick a lot. I didn't, but but it's another level mm -hmm. on Broadway that I didn't, I wasn't um, ready for. I it's mean, I'm going heightened? with the punches. Yeah, and because it's because of all the um, press and the, all the extra things. Yeah, I mean, you add one thing to your plate and you're just done for, right, kind right. of. Yeah, like yeah. I did a few readings, and that week felt like a year. Mm -hmm. Like it was like one mm -hmm. week. I was all of a sudden like mentally not there, and I think I, I try and give a hundred percent of myself to everything yeah. that I'm at. So when you have to. It was like I wasn't get I would I was giving ninety at the show mm -hmm. and that felt bad. Mm -hmm. So there was mm -hmm. a sense of guilt at everything I was mm -hmm. doing. Um, but yeah, it's my body hurts. Something oh, by the way, else. I think you normally give like one fifty, so you were probably giving like one thirty. Uh, I mean, FYI. <laughs> thank you. I yeah, anyone that. who's seen that beat goes on number, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's You're in the middle of act too. two, so it's like you gotta keep you gotta it going. Up <laughs> to it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. <laughs> exactly, it's the pickup number. Yeah. So self care. Um, yeah, self care. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that uh, has been sort of a surprise, just in general, or it wasn't? You know, people I think have a lot of idea of what they think a Broadway job mm -hmm. will be. But is there anything that sort of was surprising? Um, yes. Uh, I think for me, it's, um, and I'm still uh, working on this, and I think everybody is, including Stephanie, and she's mm -hmm. the biggest vet of us all. Yeah. But um, the not holding all of my self-worth on the audience's response, oh. that's, that was You tricky. mean like on social media? No, well, I actually mean in the, in house. the show, yeah, like, in like the actual like audience mm -hmm. uh, every night, like you know. You mean Thursday, like a little Friday, laugh at a so, joke as yeah. hard as one night from the next. Or? Yeah, it's just very Different clear, and especially our show is so fun and it's so interactive. We talk to the audience in the first scene, yeah, so we can see all of them, yeah, and if they're not um, on board with us yeah. from that first scene, mm -hmm. it can it can um, feel like. They don't like me. They don't like me. They don't like me, especially because I have the first kind of chunk. I'm mm -hmm. like the first 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And so if I don't, I don't want to ever feel like I'm mm. not liked. Do you right, know what I mean? Course, and then yeah. when you don't get a laugh or it feels silent, even if it doesn't feel that way in the house, it feels yep. that way to us because we're so used to getting reactions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once in a while, I'll have like a hard a hard audience to play for and it feels a little soul sucking. Mm -hmm. And well, um, people also come in just knowing the word share, knowing and not really yeah. knowing well, how's this gonna be a musical. Right. And like, there's a lot of sort of like, what is this? Totally. And then once they're on board, I yeah. mean by Stephanie they're on board. Yes. You know what I mean? But it might it sometimes takes them a second and mm -hmm. that's really hard. I've been struggling with that. Mm -hmm. I go through phases, but some I would say about half the shows I'm like I don't know if I should do this for the rest of my life. Like, mm. I'm not a great actor. I shouldn't. And then there will be another four shows where I'll be like, I was totally in it and they really liked it. And I'm <laughs> thrilled with that performance. And those, and you have to remember that those highs will keep you going for the yeah. rest of the week and to remember that, you know, there's a light at the end of this show. Like, uh -huh. they don't hate you. But sometimes audiences are just not. Yeah. Vocal. I also like, we have a lot of older yeah. people at our. In mm -hmm. our houses, because Sunny, I mean, Sunny and Cher Comedy Hour was so long ago, and yeah. some of those people are just quieter because, you know, they're not screaming like teens. Yeah. Um, but they're so in it with us, but yeah. it's still hard. Yeah, it's yeah, still I, hard. Get it. I yeah. get it. Amazing. So, this will be our last question. Okay. So, Alexandra wants to know what is going to surprise people about the Cher show? Mm. I think. Uh, as you're saying, there is such an expectation mm -hmm. 
you like sit in the chair and you're like, what is this gonna be? And I think um, they'll leave with a little more than fun. Mm. Um, I hope at least. Mm -hmm. um, I think the dynamic between the three of us is the coolest part of our yeah. show. And it really is so genuine. I mean, we have moments where we're, we'll all be in our share -up scenes, which is the three of us interacting. and. Um, it oh, really I know does... it's called Sherpy. I watched the Tonight Show. Oh yes, of course. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm so glad that was mentioned. <laughs> um, and uh, the th the three of us have like really formed this so instinctual dynamic. I mean, some days Stephanie will be tired. Some days I'll be tired. Some days Teal will be tired. And the uh -huh. other two lift e lift the other one up uh -huh. every time. And those and so I. Um, I think people leave being like, that is how I talk to myself. Mm. Like I look in the mirror and feel really ugly and like a failure. And then like there's another part of my brain that's like, no, you, you're going to get up and go mm. to work because you love what you do. And like y you have those conversations. And um, I think it's a really cool female empowerment move that we pulled. It is such a girl group. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's such a girl group. Mm -hmm. And um, I love that. I love playing those scenes every night. It feels so safe. Like mm -hmm. it's like, in, we're in front of 1,400 people and sharing this like yep. intimate lo therapy session. Mm -hmm. It's like doing it in front of mm -hmm. people. It's we really call cool. it therapy. Oh, it's do we? Yes, uh, we call it Oh, thanks for the... <laughs> How fun. The Neil Simon Theater. <laughs> Thank you so much for oh, being I'm here. I'm so happy. Thanks for having me. You play Babe mm -hmm. in the Share Show. That's part of Share. That's, that's you'll, you'll get it when you Baby see. Share. Uh, <laughs> it's fantastic. Neil Simon Theater, Michaela Diamond, thank you for oh, being here. Okay. Thank you for being uh, still in, in the show every night and for yeah. sticking with us. Eight Don't give up on us. You're young. It's all going to add up. I'll be here for a while. We have a lot more things to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcasts by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when we talk to John Bellum of Tootsie.